Hi everyone, welcome to the Frequency Domain. In this video, we are going to use ADS software to verify our last design low pass filter using open circuit data stops. Before beginning, if you haven't watched our previous video, you may want to take a quick look at that video first. Okay, let's get started. We we'll start by going to the S parameter palette and add a 50 ohm termination to the window. Next, we go to the macroester palette where we pick a line. Let's call the width W0 and length L0. This is the 50 ohm input line. Now we need a T section in here. It connects on the left to W0 and the right to WU1 and at the bottom to W1. On the right side, we add another macro subline, which has a width of WU1 and length of LU1. For the first open circuit at the stop, let's use W1 and L1 for the widths and lengths. And now we can copy these sections in here and change the parameters names. I do it again and what we have now is half of the circuit. So since the filter is symmetric about the y-axis, I can easily copy and mirror these parts here complete our filter. And let's not forget to add the substrate, which is RO4003C with the width of 0.508 millimeters. Next, we add an S-parameter simulation engine and we want to have a frequency response from 10 MHz to 30 GHz with 10 MHz steps. Finally, we set our parameters values with two sets of variables.
OK, let's save our design and hit the simulation button. In the data display, we add a plot and we select all the S parameters in form of DB. So here is the frequency response of our filter. If we insert a marker, we can see that we have a passband around 10 pickers with excellent matching and very low insertion loss. After around 10 GHz, the stop band starts and has more than 40 dB of loss at 20 GHz. To measure the exact value for 3 dB bandwidth, you can use a predefined equation and it calculates your filter bandwidth. To tune the bandwidth and change it from around 11 GHz to 10 GHz, we can simply introduce a correction factor and call it M, which its value is equal to 10.92 divided by 10, and we will multiply it by every length of the filter. To see the effects better, let's turn on the history in the data display. Now we run it again and you can see that the 3 dB bandwidth frequency has changed to almost 10 GHz. So the job is done. Thank you all for watching this video. We are hoping you find the video useful and please share your thoughts about the video in the comment section. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and you are welcome to subscribe to the channel for more videos. See you next time.